Welcome to our Swift UI tutorial, where we dive deep into text customization and color design. Typography plays a crucial role in shaping your app's user experience, and Swift UI makes it easy to style text views with fonts, colors, and spacing. We'll explore how to customize text using font weights, bold styles, and line spacing. But that's not all, enhance your design with a unique five elements color set inspired by water, fire, wood, metal, and earth. Discover how to create custom colors in the Xcode Assets catalog and apply them to your app for a consistent and visually stunning theme. Whether you're building a sleek modern app or a creative project, this tutorial equips you with the skills to take your design to the next level. Open Xcode on your Mac. If you don't already have it installed, download it from the Mac App Store. When Xcode launches, click Create a new Xcode project from the welcome screen. Xcode offers various templates to help you get started based on the type of app you want to build. For most iOS apps, select the app template and click Next. You'll be asked to provide details about your project. Product name, the name of your app. Team, select your Apple developer account, required for running apps on a device or publishing to the App Store. Organization identifier, a reverse domain style string, for example, com.yourcompany. Bundle identifier, a unique identifier for your app, automatically generated from your product name and organization identifier. Interface, choose Swift UI. Language, choose Swift. Xcode provides templates for the common types of files you might want to add to your project, such as Swift files or playgrounds. In the Project Navigator, select the folder or group where you want to add a folder and perform the following actions, right-click and choose New Folder. And rename it to Basic. Select the basic folder, right-click and choose New file from template In the new file sheet, select a template for your new file Xcode organizes templates by type to make them easier to find You can also use the filter control to search for templates by name After you select iOS user interface Swift UI view, click Next the final step is to save your file to the file system. When Xcode prompts you for the file's location, it also asks you to specify group and target information. The group indicates where in your project to place the file, and Xcode selects a default group based on contextual information. Xcode also selects a default target. Make any relevant changes to the target and group values and click Create to create the file. Customizing the color scheme of your app is a key step in creating visually appealing designs that reflect your brand or style. While Xcode provides a set of system colors, there are times when you'll want to use custom colors. The Assets Catalog is where you manage app resources like images, colors, and app icons. In the Navigator panel on the left, locate and click on the Assets.scassets file. This will open the Assets Catalog in the editor. In the Assets Catalog, right-click the plus button at the bottom of the panel. Select Folder. From the Context menu. And rename to 5 Colors. Right-click 5 Color Folder and. Select Color Set from the Context menu. A new color set will appear in the Assets Catalog with a placeholder name like Color. Rename it to something descriptive, such as Fire 1 Color. Select the newly created color set. In the editor panel, you'll see options for configuring the color. Choose a color from the color picker or specify a custom color using RGB, HSB, or hex values. iOS supports light and dark mode, and color sets make it easy to adapt your app to both appearances. With dynamic colors. You can specify a light color for light mode and a dark color for dark mode. 
the system automatically switches between them based on the user's appearance settings. Additional tips. 1. Organize colors, group related colors by creating folders in the assets catalog. 2. Naming convention, use descriptive names for your colors, like text primary, button background, etc. 3. Test appearances. Toggle between light and dark mode in Xcode simulator or on a real device to verify your color choices. Using color sets in Xcode is a powerful way to manage your app's colors efficiently and ensure a polished look. Whether you're building a small project or a large-scale app, adopting this practice will save you time and improve maintainability. By leveraging dynamic colors, your app can seamlessly adapt to light and dark mode, offering an enhanced user experience. Once your color set is configured, you can reference it in your Swift or Swift UI code. For example, foreground style, fire one color. The Swift UI code vStack, spacing, 10, creates a vertical stack layout container, where its child views are arranged vertically with a spacing of 10 points between them. The group is a view container in Swift UI used to group multiple child views. It allows you to apply styles or modifiers to a collection of views collectively. The text views are concatenated using the plus operator, which combines multiple text elements into a single text view. After the group, the combined text has the following styling applied. 1. Words styled in different colors, based on the custom colors like fire one color, wood one color, etc. 2. A bold, serif font style at 32 point size. 3. Letter spacing of 2 points. Kerning, adds 2 points of space between each character for improved readability or stylistic effect. The text view contains a long string of text explaining what Botsi is, emphasizing its significance in Chinese astrology and its meaning in Chinese culture. The text is displayed in a 390x300 point frame, left aligned, with 1. A size, 22 rounded font. 2. Dot spaced out characters, kerning equals 2.0. A small yellow shadow slightly offset, giving it a glowing effect. The entire block of text raised slightly, baseline offset. This creates an aesthetically pleasing, easy to read, and visually engaging block of text. Typography is the backbone of effective UI design, and we'll go through some basic customized text views in Swift UI by applying font styles, weights, and line spacing to enhance readability and visual appeal. But that's not all, discover the 5 elements color set, inspired by feng shui principles of water, fire, wood, metal, and earth. In our everyday lives, everything, big or small, is connected to the 5 elements and numerology. The 5 elements are water, fire, wood, metal, and earth. This means that anything around us can fit into one of these 5 categories. If we recognize and understand how these elements relate to each other, it can really boost our good vibes and help us steer clear of bad luck. So, how can we use colors to attract good luck and dodge bad vibes? First, we need to understand what colors we vibe with based on our personality. If you're more into water, go for black and blue. If you feel the fire energy, then stick with red and purple and continue exploring what works for you. Here's a fun way to explore dislikes based on your lunar birth month. 1. Born in February or March. You probably don't vibe with wood. 2. Born in May or June. Fire might not be your thing. 3. Born in August or September. Metal could feel off to you. 4. Born in November or December. Water might not be your favorite. 5. Born in April, July, October, or January. Earth might not be your jam. Here's how to match your vibes based on your dislikes. 1. Don't like wood? Skip green and cyan. Go for white and gold instead. 2. Not a fan of fire? Avoid red and purple, try black and blue are your go-to colors. 3. Dislike metal? Steer clear of white and gold. Try red and purple instead. 
for water not your thing ditch black and blue try yellow and earthy tones will suit you better five earth doesn't vibe with you avoid yellow and earthy colors try green and cyan are more your style the text will be displayed in a bold courier font with extra spacing between characters have a gradient color transitioning from water one color to wood one color vertically feature a shadow using the metal two color offset diagonally right and down with a soft blur this creates a modern stylized and visually striking text appearance We can customize text views in Swift UI by applying font styles, weights, and line spacing to enhance readability and visual appeal. But that's not all. Here's a brief introduction to each of the popular fonts along with their usage aspects. First, Georgia. A serif font designed for clarity on screens. Commonly used in web content and digital publications due to its readability, it conveys a classic and professional appearance. Second, Verdana. A sans serif font that emphasizes legibility, especially at small sizes. Ideal for online applications, user interfaces, and general web text, as it is easy to read on computer screens. The third one, Arial. A widely used sans serif typeface, known for its clean and modern look. Versatile for both print and digital media commonly used in presentations, websites, and corporate branding. The fourth one, Times New Roman. A classic serif typeface with a formal appearance. Traditionally used in printed media, books, and academic papers, it is often seen in official documents due to its readability. 5. Courier. A monospace font that mimics typewriter text. Frequently used in coding, screenwriting, and technical documents where alignment is crucial, as each character occupies the same space. 6. Helvetica. A highly regarded sans-serif typeface known for its neutrality and simplicity. Popular in branding, signage, and advertising, it is favored for modern designs due to its clean lines and versatility.